everyone, welcome back to another episode of IFO Nightly Show. This is another episode of season 7 where we all stay at home together and interview very interesting guests. And uh, like I discovered earlier today, I have a very interesting box here containing words that I will get to, you know, discuss with our guests here today. But let's meet her first. Hi! Hi! So, our lovely guest's name is Kate, but I'm going to let her introduce your, herself to you guys. Kate, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Kate, uh, and I'm a graphic designer. I have a background in visual communication, and currently I'm working at the designer board game company called Mastermind. So, we upgrade and level up um, ordinary board game to let uh, our audience, our customer, play games in the more pretty, beautiful way, and also take traditional board game into a new experience of um, being a beautiful gift to give each other on special occasions. That's exactly what we need, isn't it? Like we really do need to improve the quality of life with the current situation being the way it is. So thank you so much for bringing joy into our life. And uh, Kate, I'm so excited to learn more about you and also about uh, the the art environment that you work with. So without further ado, let's get to our first vocabulary for today. And that is product design. So um, how does this word relate to you and what you do? Uh, well, product design is a field of design. So you know, like design has so many different fields. And product design, actually the word can be understood in two ways. Um, product design can also can can be referred to as a digital product design where people actually make apps. So you see people who design Ooh. apps. It's also called product design. Uh, where in a more traditional way, we understand product design as making actual physical products, and it has another name mm -hmm. called industrial design. So we build actual in this in this field of product design, we create real actual physical products like chairs. Um, like even the box that you were holding earlier, that old product. So we're basically building mm -hmm. anything um, that you can touch and can be used in everyday life. So that too field of product design that um, is right now in industry. I heard that you work with furniture, but I understand that you don't make the physical products, but you still are involved in the process of you know creating a chair or a table. Um, where exactly do you join in the process? Uh, well, so I work in marketing department as a graphic design. So basically, when you um, at a junior position um, a few years back, um, I was part in the part where they already finished the design, and I just create poster and social media materials for the product to launch, just to make sure that the message is communicated uh, throughoutly. So I have to go kind of chat with the designer to see what is their idea behind. Um, the designs and what kind of vibe they want to create. Is that fun? Is that sad? Is that a bit of mysterious? Um, things like that. Ooh. So kind of using all the keywords to convert it into uh, um, visual forms like using photos or graphic to, to deliver that to the mass audience or the audience of the company I was working with. Things like that. I always find graphic design really interesting because you know, there are so many nuances to it because it's almost as if you're using a sort of language to try and communicate the message and the feeling, the vibe, and like you said, of the product or whatever, the, the, the message that you want to deliver. So, which leads us to our next vocabulary, which is visual communication. Communicating with visuals, I'm guessing. So, how does this word relate to you? Uh, yeah, so visual communication is what I started at uni. Um, in short, visual communication is anything you can see. To break that word out, visuals is the image, the thing that you see, and communication is communicating. So basically, you use, use a form of visuals. It can be graphic, it can be illustrations, it can be photography, it can be motion design to deliver a message that um, is called a brief and so you deliver that to the, um, to the customer. So you use all the visual forms, uh, different ways of visuals 
to, to speak that message instead of the verbal form. Mm. Can you talk to us a bit about you know the process of going through uh, visual communication as a major in university? I I'd imagine it'd be a very you know diverse curriculum because you have to manage so much. There is language, and then there is like visual elements. You know, what's the process like learning it in school? Well, yeah. So um, at the university, the course that I attended is a three years uh, a three year program. Um, it go from like simple to practicals. The first year we did a lot of foundation courses. Um, it's like courses like critical thinking, critical thinking through design, um, design culture, visual culture, and we do also uh, a lot of design history, which I really like because um, doing all these foundation course gives me more understanding about the reason behind designs. Uh, normally people would think that designers only make pretty things like anything beautiful like drawings but um, actual design it is really um, design is a really strategic um, um, uh, major so you do have reasons behind that by going through all the all the research and going through all the histories and find out why people do that and what is the design for and what applications and the context of it and you go through all a lot of questions before you actually making the thing so it's not all about uh, decorating I think that you know ma makes a beautiful segue for our next vocabulary which is creativity I have peeked at it before you finish your sentence but this is perfect uh, I do think that design is a perfect balance between you know creativity and then uh, calculation because Creativity only takes you so far, right? There needs to be a practical approach to making a design work. This is exactly where we're going to pick up on after we meet with Phoebe and learn more about visual communication and education in Australia. Stay tuned.